I am going to do a reading here just to kind of check in with the collective, see if there's any messages for us, you guys. Plus, I'm just curious, you know, Pisces. Um, so let me shuffle the cards. I haven't used them in a few days. So this is just a random reading. You might align with me in my messages. So if you're drawn to watch this, there might be messages or advice or guidance for you. We already have Sagittarius showing up. Shout out to the Sagittarius is watching. If you're led, comment below. I have Gemini here as well. I'm going to get shuffling here in a moment, but I just kind of want to wake my cards up and see just like a little short little message because um, I actually have felt a recent energy shift. I'm not sure about you guys listening and watching. Um, so we made it past the Leo new moon. It is the 21st. I have Cancer showing up, Pisces. Okay, let's see what we have going on. Okay, right away, we have two individuals showing up. Some of us may have two individuals in our life. Um, King of Swords, first and foremost, and okay, the King of Pentacles would like to be known as well. So we have an air sign. Um, now this is a king. So we have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius man making way in the reading. And he came out with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see Aquarius and Taurus here, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini. Basically, air sign, earth sign, two men. This could These could be brothers. These could be two men in your life. This could be you if you identify as such. This could be um, family members, same-sex couples. But what I see is air and earth, meaning that there's this conversation or this mentality, um, the need to be intelligent and ground at the same time. Maybe there's conversations about money, decisions about money, thoughts about money, um, this is, you know, this could be a little bit of a cold, logical vibe. These two individuals are very stern, very mature, okay? But yeah, there could definitely be some grounded thoughts or someone who's trying to be really serious and um, their mentality at like work. And then we have like this hidden card that came out with this message. We're going to reveal what it is, but keep in mind when cards come out hidden like that for me, there may be like some kind of a hidden message. This could be hidden from you. This could be something you're hiding from others, okay? And it is the Ten of Cups. So there's something about home environment here. I see a home environment where there's two masculine energies that may be being highlighted, whether this is children, family members, uh, partners, friends, whatever it might be. But there's some kind of like Two individuals, home environment. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment as well. It's family, relationships. We'll see what this is, you guys. But so far, I see two individuals. Um, and when I see earth and air, it's about being grounded during communication. Very logical, intellectual. This could even be a little bit detached and overworked vibe. The bottom of the deck so far is the Nine of Wands. This has come out in a few of my readings recently because there is this guarded energy still to consider this um i forgot to mention it last time but this is also we don't want to forget the nine of wands although it is someone who's blocking and defending their territory been through a lot of battles it's perseverance we don't ever this is the card of perseverance so when it comes to your money your thoughts your maturity when it comes to your mind and your resources and values specifically when we get into home family uh relationship emotional fulfillment stuff Keep persevering. Don't give up. The universe has a plan. There's going to be some things that shift around. But I definitely keep getting drawn to these two individuals that came out together. The King of Swords was sort of covering the King of Pentacles, if you will. So maybe there's something here about um, a conversation that needs to take place or a decision. The King of Swords is very mature mentally, sometimes even to a cautiously narcissistic level just because of how detached he or she can be, this individual. And then that King of Pentacles is very mature when it comes to the tangible realm of money, saving, hard work, determination. That's why it's earth and air sign energy specifically. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male, sun, moon, or rising. Or if not, this is an individual. Um, this could be two different parts of the same individual but I'm being shown as a tarot reader that there's these two different energies whether they're male female air sign earth sign it's very detached intellectual wants to talk wants the truth wants clarity wants to be smart logical intelligent intellectual and then also grounded mature has a plan reliable consistent determined focused and 
then we have that home environment family stuff and this two of swords so a crossroads this came up in my last reading something about a stalemate or a hard dis difficult decision or choice that someone's having to make maybe there's a two-week period um perhaps the rest of august going into september where there's something on hold because you or someone else isn't making a decision very difficult to choice very difficult choice or decision between two things that are true Something may be beneficial to you mentally, while another thing may be beneficial to you financially. We have another hidden message coming out, you guys, and it's the Queen of Swords. Definitely an air sign type of night. I am recording this um, while the moon is in Libra. Okay, um, so we have the King and the Queen of Swords. These are sometimes two people that need to have a conversation, maybe about the home environment, something tangible. There's an earth sign here as well. We have Taurus at the bottom. So I'm getting married couples out there, people who are in commitments, people who have foundations established with each other, people who um, not necessarily married, but I definitely see someone out there listening that has ex-wife, ex-husband energy, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. We used to live together, have a family together, that kind of dynamic, but it's detached. Someone has turned their back, especially the feminine, because now we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, women. Um, something here about the home environment, emotional fulfillment, relationships. This could definitely be someone you used to live with or had a commitment with. Maybe someone needs advice here. Maybe someone needs to consider their values, their beliefs. Maybe, maybe that's what this conversation between these two people who are now detached. But even air signs need emotional fulfillment. Even people who operate from a headspace are still human at the end of the day. So it can't just be all cold and grounded here. We have to consider emotions with this Pisces full moon coming up. So advice, counselship, um, anyone who's like an official that can help and advise and uh, mentor, that kind of energy. I see lawyers, like there's some kind of conversation. And I'm just going to hold these two up one more time because regardless of your zodiac sign or gender, there's something here about two people who co connect mentally. They may never no longer live together or have a commitment together. or Maybe that's what's up for discussion or revision. Mercury is going retrograde, you guys. Venus is retrograde. So there's a lot of past stuff and errors, delays, miscommunication. But I sense two people need to talk about the future or the home or the family or emotional fulfillment okay um but king and queen of swords coming out in this in the same reading for me is it represents a connection it represents oh maybe someone's cutting somebody off or something or cutting off feelings or family stuff or even money and now i'm being reminded that one of these decisions makes sense to you in the head one of these decisions makes sense to you logically financially that might be the dilemma here. What makes sense in what you're thinking about versus what will be ideal in your tangible realm, your values, your resources. Anyways, the king and the queen of swords come out together whenever two individuals need to talk. Whenever two individuals have a detached platonic connection. That's why I'm saying this could be family. This is going to be different for all of us. But we all have these dynamics here about home and family and emotional fulfillment where we need to come forward in a mature way. Some of, some of us have two men in our life or two individuals um, that we need to make clear decisions about. Let's see what else comes out, you guys, underneath these cards. We have the Five of Pentacles that just came out rather quickly. So this is an indication of no wonder someone's being detached and really planned and focused on their future, kind of cold and shut off about their goals and what needs to happen in this decision with this family, home environment, emotional fulfillment. Because someone here is experiencing, um, well, being left out in the cold, Okay, getting abandoned when you're already left out in the cold, needed to, needing to seek sanctuary. Someone here has a financial decision to make in a very detached, logical, mature way. Um, but there's these two individuals or more or less, um, and we're thinking about the winter here coming up, the next five months or so when there's snow, the decisions you could make now to kind of secure the bag or be smart. I see September 16th, 17th, 18th, write that down, make a note if this is resonating with you because by then there's going to be a grounded decision that was made. There's going to be a conversation that is had in a very tangible, um, logical manner. Um, but anyway, someone here is experiencing unemployment, struggling self-employment, afraid to be homeless. Maybe that's why someone is hesitating to make a certain decision because they don't want to lose this home family dynamic, this emotional fulfillment, but they're struggling with feeling detached and not all the way happy. So you or someone else, it's going to depend on who you are listening and watching. It's you or someone else around you. Um, there's going to be some kind of like justice or karma. Maybe the actual law is 
here because we do have king and queen of swords. Those are lawyers, doctors, officials, decision makers, um, legality. Libra energy is here strongly. Earth sign, air sign is what I'm getting. I see water as well. So what you think, what you feel, and what you have, what you don't have, the lack of that, the conflict of that, something that needs to change mentally in your tangible environment. So things are more fair, more balanced, more at peace. I'm seeing October 20th, 21st, 22nd. So that might be important as well. Scorpio season. Okay, so someone here is experiencing maybe... It has to do with this king and this queen of swords. I think there's two people here. Okay, we have the three of pentacles. Someone here may go from not having a job, not having a resource, to coming up with a plan, collaborating. Maybe someone here is in no longer working online or something. These could be two co-workers, you guys. If you work with air sign, earth sign, or work with two men, okay? I'm seeing two individuals coming to someone else with a plan or they need advice. This is about someone's job or lack thereof, some kind of work. Or teamwork yeah I'm seeing three three now so there's third parties there's a friend if you work with friends your online friends these could be friends an air sign friend an earth sign friend maybe friends are just involved here your roommates whatever it is but someone here is they feel left out in the cold they're really conflicted about this lack of resource this financial conflict or conflict in the tangible realm so they're trying to be smart they're trying to be planned logical and grounded and they're coming up with a plan in the next three weeks, I'm hearing someone here. It has to do with a job. These two cards here could suggest definitely not having a job, finding a job, having a job, losing a job or unemployment, struggling self-employment. And then that three of cups. So there's going to be some kind of, I don't know if there's a work celebration here or a work party or one of your coworkers. You go out and have drinks with them. Um, but there's something going on here. Okay. Another hidden card. And then we have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck, you guys. I'm going to leave this hidden and we'll reveal it here in a moment. But there's a lot hidden right now, which is why it's really extremely hard for us intellectuals to make decisions so keenly. You know, all these retrogrades and we're in this reflective period. So some of us who work from a headspace right now are hesitant to make decisions because we're like, well, like, what will that do to me in the future, though? Like, will that be the most emotional fulfilling? Is that smart? Is that intelligent? I should detach. I should be grounded. I should focus on my tangible realm. I don't have enough resources for that. $500 here is important. $300. So um, we have a spy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone here is gathering information on you. Maybe you are the information gatherer. But someone here would like to know more about whatever card here is on the table. I'm going to show in a minute here. But I want to discuss this first. Something that someone sees. Communication that has been held back because someone would prefer to observe and kind of uh, spy and investigate. This could be online or in person, but this is definitely the student, the um, the inquirer. This page of swords shows up in readings when someone in the situation is watching, looking, spying, gathering information, facts, but also holding back communication because it isn't it, it isn't as mature as the king and the queen of swords is, but those individuals are here. This could be a child or someone younger, conversations with those who are younger, details about those who are younger or just younger minded, youthful information that hasn't exactly went through all the fact check um, energy, what's behind the page of swords, the queen of cups, someone here could be Wanting to know more about love or emotion. Someone here could be spying on a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or maybe there's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio spying. Someone wants to know if someone's open emotionally. Why? Let's let's see. Oh, the two of wands. This won't matter for a couple of weeks. In a couple of weeks or up ahead, you guys, there's definitely going to be some kind of plan. Coworkers, friends, rejoicing, something to celebrate. There could be work gossip as well, you guys. Um, so someone wants to know more about something about whether they should communicate what they saw or heard or, you know what I'm saying? Um, but they're trying to think ahead about it. This is also about wanting to know more about a new path. Should I go to this job? Should I quit this job? But what about my home and family or relationship or emotional fulfillment? So there's more that you need to know about this job in the next couple of weeks or about this teamwork plan. And even though this card is hidden, it showed itself to me on the way out. We have Sagittarius that is now a part of this reading. The only major arcana is temperance. So aside from Sagittarius and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, we're going to need patience here to gain mental clarity. Mercury is going retrograde, so... Um, we're going to need to test the waters a little bit. Experiment, um, moderation, sorry about that. 
we're gonna have to walk away we have a full moon here in august the last day of august the 30th the 31st so you know this whole reading has something to do with emotional fulfillment that we're seeking and that's why we've been detaching and thinking a lot about home and family and what actually emotionally fulfills us who actually emotionally fulfills us is it just us on our own are we detached we have finances going on here as well conversations that need to be had about the future about work I see a lot going on here. Hopefully this resonates with someone out there, but test the waters once again. Moderation, balance, patience, and peace. Sagittarius energy, which is not that far away, a few months. But yeah, uh, this whole reading has something to do with walking towards our emotional fulfillment. Maybe someone returning at the end of August on that full moon. There's a lot of emotion here. We're trying to escape. We're trying to... Some of us are trying to escape. Some of us are trying to return. Some of us are walking away heartbroken or someone walks away, leaving someone else heartbroken. You or someone else could be you, could be the other person. But this looks like a message about the the future up ahead and what to prepare for these. You know, some of us work as a third party school, some kind of project we've been working on. But it's going to have us have to walk away and separate and sacrifice and surrender. This is definitely Pisces full moon energy. I feel this is about the last few days of August. There could be third parties that someone has to walk away from causing some kind of a breakup or separation. Some of the some of this is about having to travel for work, save our money. There's an empress here, definitely Taurus energy. I see Scorpio endings, ending certain commitments with female energy because of Venus retrograde, relationships, money, resources. Pregnancy, fertility, mother figures, um, something here. Okay, $400, $800, 40 80 um, There's just something going on, you guys, up ahead. But I think this whole reading has something to do with the things, the people, the places that we have to separate from. There is a little bit of heartbreak. We need to leave that behind. You see how that man is walking away from that three of swords, from that third party, from that sorrow and pain. So we need to be patient for the narrative to reach that point before we have like clarity and we have this ability to decide and you know how we're going to come up with a plan for the next couple weeks the last bit of august going into september and this is hella sagittarius energy where it's like comfort or growth you know bird's eye view pick something up ahead that you're passionate about it's going to open your world up but we have a decision to make and we have to make it patiently hmm you guys let me know that went by kind of fast um i'm gonna have to re-listen to this and see what really what was going on because i was just like kind of in the moment there but let me know what you think if you have any questions and i will see you in the next reading bye